Oh man. So it's been a while. I know, I know. Everyone that came in, uh, or everyone that messaged me or left comments checking on me, thank you, I appreciate it. Look how big these things have gotten. These heliconias, Marcalo, sweet potato, random chicken that's out of the yard, and the Ohana. Remember that thing I used to work on all the time? Man, time to get back to it. All right, guys, well, welcome back. I am here in the Ohana. Pretty much exactly how it was left. Uh, the last video, which I think has been, I don't know, four months ago, five months ago now. Um, so the electrical's all finished and that's pretty much where I left it because I was busy building this house over in Kona. I am now done with that house. I actually finished that house probably a month ago. Um, roughly today is, I think today is November 17th. I don't know. I'm not sure what day it is. <clears throat> I know it's a Thursday, so I'm gonna do this video and release it tomorrow, which Friday was my normal days that I tried to release videos. So basically, where have I been, what I've been doing, um, what's happening. Like I said, that house uh, I was working on, I am now finished with, or I am finished to what we were contracted to do, uh, which was to build the full exterior, uh, you know, roof, paint, all of that stuff. Uh, I don't have any pictures, recent pictures, I don't know. If I have some, I might put them in there, but. Um, the house was done. There were still a couple of things left to do on it, which uh, my friend Daniel was going to finish those up, pouring a couple slabs, putting the metal in the roof. Um, basically, I finished up. I had been working there for working on that house, I think, for about nine months um, in total, which is crazy to think about. I'm going to sit down. Uh, which is crazy to think about because that means for nine months I was driving to Kona every day, which is about five hours, four and a half hours round trip. Um, that's nuts. I don't want to do that again. Um, but we will see. I don't know. Someone's calling me. Um, <clears throat> so... Like I said, about a month ago, I finished that house. So what I've been doing in the meantime, um, we had a big Renaissance fair here on the island, which was in Honoka'a, which is on the northern side of the island, kind of by uh, close to Waimea. Um, so I was prepping for that. I was making a bunch of knives. Um, I ended up making about 20 knives. So I spent a solid two weeks, two and a half, maybe even three weeks. Uh, and then, went to that that was this past saturday it was on the 9th um and we did really well my wife and i we usually sell at the uh, maku'u farmers market on sundays which is down towards pahoa um, we did really well at the ren fair i did not do as well as i wanted to uh, i only sold three knives which i was hoping to sell like eight to ten knives um, one of the issues was there was no cell service there, so we couldn't charge cards, we couldn't do Venmo, we couldn't do anything like that. Um, anyway, overall, the Ren Fair went really well. I'll do a little insert of some of the knives that I have right here. Okay, so you see some of those knives. Um, those are all available on my website. If any of you uh, ever wanted to get one of my knives, I have the most knives that I've had at any given time right now. Um, 
which of course, you know, we have the farmer's market coming up this Sunday in a few days. So I've, I'll be back there with all my knives again. Um, but you'll see this on Friday. So go to my website. The link is always in the description of the video and uh, check that out if you're interested in buying a knife. Um, so my focus now that the Ren Fair is over is I'm going to start working on the Ohana again. Uh, and I really want to try to get this thing finished up as much as I can before the end of the year. I know the holidays are coming up. Um, Thanksgiving is in a couple weeks now. Um, Christmas next month. So uh, the main things that I'm going to be working on in the Ohana is going to be the next biggest thing is going to be the plumbing. Um, getting all of the plumbing done. Um, and then I have Taylor scheduled to come out on December 16th and he's going to do some more uh, excavating work around the property. So I think I did a little bit of a video when he was here last time. Um, I basically got rid of all of the piles of trees that were around the Ohana, all the YV that he pulled down almost two years ago now. Um, actually next month will be two years, I think, from when we very first started clearing this lot. I think it was December of 2022. And so he did some work with that, cleared those trees, mulched everything. Um, so there's going to be a house, uh, a carport that's going to be on the side of the Ohana. And when he was clearing before, he exposed a big um, lava hump. So that lava hump is going to have to be broken up and then graded so that we can put the carport there. And then also during that time, the big kind of drop that's in the front of the Ohana, uh, we're going to get rock delivered and we're going to fill all that in so that I can work on building the the lanai or the deck. Um, so that's the two main things I'm going to be focusing on is getting the plumbing done, getting the deck done. And in between, I'm going to continue to get this drywall installed and start finishing out the interior of the house of the Ohana. Um, another really cool thing that happened since I finished the house in Kona, I went to go take a class with uh, master bladesmith Jason Knight. Uh, at his shop in Tennessee. So that was a super cool thing. Um, it was basically an advanced grinding class. Uh, I will insert a, a picture of him and I, and then I will also insert a picture of the knife that I made, um, which was awesome. And I sold that knife at the Ren Fair. Um, it was probably one of my best knives that I made so far. Um, so I'll insert that stuff here. There you go, now you see those knives. Um, so that was a super cool thing that happened. Um, that was basically almost a week that I was there. I think it, the class was three days. And uh, so I flew there the day before, left the day after. So I was there for five days roughly. Um, awesome thing to do. I learned a lot. Uh, hopefully that's going to step up my knives in the future. And with this, finishing of this house, I'm going to try to make the, tr the transition to full-time bladesmithing, blacksmithing. Um, but a big part of that is getting this Ohana done so that we can get it rented. So that's why my focus is going to shift back to this Ohana. <laughs> um, I will do a quick walk around just to show you guys kind of the state that it's in now. Um, because I know it's been a while and you know maybe this is a new video to some people. If this is a new video to you, I have a whole series of building this Ohana plus a hundred other videos on my channel. Go check them out and watch them all, please. <laughs> so let me uh, flip the camera around and then I'll do a quick uh, walkthrough of where the Ohana is currently. All right, so living room area is pretty much fully drywalled minus these little corners up here in the top, which will be fairly quick to do. Uh, 
now that all the electrical is done, this wall can be closed out. I was leaving that open until I finished the electrical. The last bit of electrical, which if you watched the last video, was getting the smoke detectors in. And I believe I had, yeah, I had a couple other little things, but that's why I hadn't closed up this, excuse me, why well, I haven't closed up this wall yet. Um, the bathrooms, the kitchen area is not done yet as far as drywall because I still have to do plumbing in here. Um, so basically this is going to be a vanity right here. Toilet will be under the window and then a shower will be on that wall. Over on this side in the kitchen area, going to be a sink right under the window. Uh, there will be a small stove on this side. There's going to be a um, breakfast bar here basically seat four people the counter will kind of wrap around here and go over into this wall this will end up being kind of a pantry area refrigerator will be here this area here will get closed out and will be storage uh, the lights and everything are all run so this the ceiling could be drywalled in here in the kitchen um, i could finish all this as well all this exterior could be done here the bathroom, again, like I said, will wait. This whole area could be done. Uh, as I get started on the front lanai, then I can figure out where I'm going to punch this through. So this coiled wire is the one bit of electrical that is left. That is going to be basically to turn on lights on the deck, which are controlled on this main panel here. So that's the one wire that's left hanging. Uh, on this side, done again all the way to the top and of course i have a lot of painting to do all these beams are going to get painted there's going to be closeouts in front of these lights uh, i have the mango that i'm going to be using so it's going to be all live edge mango sills on all the windows um, this little section up there still i have this uh, shutter system that i'm going to build there let me go upstairs real quick Oh, stairs are creaking. All right, so now I'm in the bedroom. Pocket doors here, pocket door there, pocket door downstairs bathroom. All this can be closed up. You can see the lights that I have set. There's a light switch, light in the closet. Small bathroom will be just a toilet here and then a small vanity here, just so if someone's staying here, they don't have to go all the way downstairs to go to the bathroom. Uh, fans are installed already, so all of that stuff has to be um, routed to the exterior, um, you know, for the exhaust, which is something that people don't really do here. They don't usually have fans in the bathroom, which is a weird thing because the humidity, I guess you would think that you'd want to get it out, but... That's like an extra thing. So uh, let me back up here. This is going to end up being a bed here, basically between the two outlets. So there will be a you know, built-in uh, nightstand type situation there. This one over here will be smaller, of course, because you have the walkway. So basically you'll walk in the door, you'll have to walk around the bed, closet. It's not gonna be huge, but this is hopefully going to be a short-term rental, um, but we'll see. <laughs> we may end up just renting it month to month. I don't know what the laws are constantly changing, so we'll see. Again, these beams will all get painted. All of this could be drywalled now. Um, this entire bedroom could all be drywalled um, except for the bathroom, of course. The exterior could be drywalled in the bathroom. This needs to be left until I get the plumbing done for the sink, for the toilet, and then the incoming water lines. And then, like I said, pocket door. Uh, this is going to end up being a large wooden shutter system. So it's gonna be vertical shutters that will you know, open and close. They're gonna end up being probably about a foot. Each shutter will be about a foot or whatever it comes out to the measurement, but close to that. So they'll be big shutters. They're not gonna be little shutters. Um, but that should be cool. That'll be something that I'm gonna to have to design and build. And then I think my wife is going to be doing some artwork. So on these big vertical walls, basically where this light is gonna be shining up, 
Uh, I think she wants to do hula dancers. So she's going to do a, a female hula dancer here and then a male hula dancer here. Um, just something, you know, to make it different and cool and artsy. Um, so we'll see if she still does that. I know she had talked about it a while ago and then I didn't work on the Ohana forever. So let me uh, get back downstairs. Whew. Okay, so... That is it guys. Uh, I just wanted to do a little bit of an update video to tell you where I'm at now and that I am back. <laughs> um, so hopefully from here on out, I start having regular videos again. So everyone that stuck with me, I really appreciate it. Uh, people that are gonna be watching again, I really appreciate that too. Um, I still need to really up my views to get my YouTube channel monetized. Um, I have to hit 4,000 hours viewed in a 12 month period. And for a long time I was hovering around like 3,500. Uh, I think since I haven't made a video in so long, I'm down around like 3,300 or so, 32. I haven't checked in a while. So uh, if you wanna watch all of my videos over again, please feel free. <laughs> if not, then I will see you guys on the next video. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for tuning in, and uh, aloha.